So I had swelling for the past eight months continuously, irrespective. But once I sleep and get up, it reduces a bit, not much. I feel pretty comfortable walking in the morning hours. But once I walk for a certain period of time, I feel burning sensations and color changes to burning red color also on the foot completely. Mm. I had pain over throughout this leg for one or two weeks when I removed my insoles and started walking barefoot. Mm -hmm. I felt pain on the bottom of the leg as well. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit pain on my back as well, but currently from the past two months since I'm walking without insoles or without any support, so barefoot also, I had pain more over these regions. So I have pain over here and here whenever I walk. So okay. if I try to walk normal with the pace my friends walk, I have a lot of pain over this area. So what started that, set the whole that thing in motion? I uh, it started uh, in November 2017, nine months ago. Mm -hmm. So when I had when I was playing tennis, so it it got twisted up. Mm. I sat for two minutes out, I felt better, so I came back to pitch and played for a certain period of duration again. The next day I realized after I was out of shoes, I realized it's pretty bad. Yeah, that falls chronic right there. This is over here. Okay. Yeah. That's about you got a nice little bump over here. Yeah. Okay. It's all across over oh. here. Should be smooth like this. Okay. Feel that? There's yeah, a bump. Yeah. Bump yeah. here. Bump here. That's it. All brand yeah. across. It's a nice big band across your mm -hmm. sacred iliac joints over here. So that already indicates there's something going on with your sacred foundation. Okay. So when we take a closer look over here, mm -hmm. right? On your left side, it's stuck. Mm -hmm. The right side moves. But also, in addition to that correlates along with his history, he also talked about having the left inguinal region, there's some joint pain over there in the front. So when we hear about left inguinal region discomfort, it also makes us think about that left sacral problem as well. Feel that one over there? Get a nice little nut of swelling right over here as well. I felt it. And when we there. test it, yeah, I feel pain over there. So there's pain, and yeah. also it's stuck. It's not moving at all. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mark it. This is our sacrum over here. That's okay. what this triangle shaped bone is. Okay. This fell is important, why? Because as we see, all our bones, all our organs, everything from the waist upwards rests on that single bone alone. Okay. So that's why it's very important to make sure that fella mm -hmm. is in proper alignment. Got it. Right. So what I don't wanna see is normal, you should be in that proper position. Got it. I don't want to see your hips rotating to the left, to the right, tilt to the sides, okay. going backwards or forwards. Okay. What your sacrum is doing right now, okay, I made some biomechanical measurements. Mm -hmm. Zero to one millimeters, that's mm -hmm. what I want to see. Okay. Once you start approaching seven millimeters, okay. biomechanically, you cannot adapt to that. It's too oh. much. It's the misalignment is too severe. Okay. You have nine. Oops. Way past seven, we've got nine millimeters. So, that being said, what your pelvis is doing right now, on mm -hmm. your left side, you're doing this, mm -hmm. by a significant margin. Mm -hmm. In addition to, you see this angle over here? Got it. I wanna see it here, in a 45 degree angle. That's what normal's supposed to look like, like this. Oh. Not this vertical. Got it. This is very vertical. Mm -hmm. So in essence, right now, what your body is doing is this. Mm -hmm. You're turning this way, and you're leaning way backwards like this. So okay. to compensate for that, your body has to hunch forward, forward, even though your pelvis is way backwards. Got it. So we already tested and mm -hmm. found out, yes, this sacrum, this is the one we need to correct on you. Got it. This x-ray shows me that you may have had RSD in the past. Okay. That's mild, mm -hmm. but it's significant enough because that's one of the telltale traits of RSD mm -hmm. is that It'll be lytic. All the calcium in the region More brighter. Will, will be out. Okay, oh. you're losing the calcium out of Got the bones. It. See over here, this is normal. Over here, this is a little more dark over here. But this, okay, you lost a lot of calcium in this area. Got That's it. one of the telltale traits mm -hmm. on an X-ray. What RSD will do to it. Okay. So it's not completely lytic 
all together because we still have the joints over here. So that's what I'm saying. If oh. this was RSD, then it looks like you got over the major hump over it. Got it. And your body's recovering from it. Oh, that's good. But then again, it sounds like because you're still telling us mm -hmm. that it still becomes inflamed and red yeah, from prolonged walking, that tells us, no, there's still some residual in there. Okay. I just can't confirm whether it okay. is or it is not. Slight and what? Okay. Right. If it is, then mm -hmm. it's very mild at this point. Got it. But the bottom line is, the solution for it mm -hmm. is still the same. That sacrum is the one we need to correct. Got because it. the RSD, it's a result from sympathetic and the parasympathetics. That area of nerves, they start blending at mm -hmm. that junction right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to address this. Okay. Realign it to take that pressure off of that irritation there. Irritating now. Okay. So the parasympathetic and sympathetics, both of them, won't get irritated and misfire. Got it. That's what's causing over here. Got it. So to clarify what RSD does, it's supposed to have just like one, just like, how would I say, just like, uh, you know, you bang yourself with Reflexes. a hammer on your, right, on mm -hmm. your hand. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to like a jerk back. Got it. But what RSD, what it does is, it keeps on jerking like this. Okay. Non-stop. Continuous signals. Mm. Bingo. But in your case, it kind of stopped and your mm -hmm. body's now recovering from it. Okay. So, all the component is, I understand you experience some pain. Mm -hmm. That's what I see over here. This talus, it's misaligned. Mm -hmm. Same thing with this navicular over here. Oh. This talus over here, this is what we need to correct because it's tilted this way. That's the one we need to fix on you. A little more. Relax a little more. Oh. I feel something energy is flowing at this area. An energy? If something new energy which I haven't felt before. Something new. Okay. I which feel, is into I feel what? something pretty good on this side, on the left side. The left side. Right. A bit, I feel a bit comfortable. Even though you may experience some discomfort here, mm -hmm. we're not going to fix this today. Okay. Why? Because since your body mm -hmm. over here, if there is RSD, okay. I don't want your nervous system to mix up. Your body's already mixing up the nervous system with the sympathetic and parasympathetics. Okay. So if we address this one over here. It's going to cause this cascade to happen even more. Okay, more. So, I've got to address this one over here. Just okay. this one today. Got it. Okay. So now, when we compare the feet over here, this one over here, mm -hmm. this is a normal color. Mm -hmm. We see all this over here? This mm -hmm. is still red. Yeah. Okay. There is a more pinkish hue compared to your right side. That's true. Yeah. It should be symmetrical. It should be the same. Okay. Yet, it is not. This one is more reddish in color yeah. see this one over here mm -hmm. this is normal yeah. this is the actual range of motion mm -hmm. the left one yeah, see there's too much movement here true so this yeah that's correct that confirms what you told us before yeah this is a very bad sprained ankle mm -hmm. and it never properly recovered from it yep yeah, true so now when i assess this in mm -hmm. addition to the x-ray that showed to us mm -hmm. This talus on the medial side is misaligned. Mm -hmm. So this is the one we need to correct on you. Okay. So first we're gonna pump it up. Purpose of it is to get the fluid out of the way. There's still some amount of fluid, edema okay. in this joint over here. We're gonna pump it out of the way before we set this. Okay. There we go. Loosen it up. Let it go. Just relax. Relax the foot. Oh. Go ahead, walk around. Previously, I used to have problem of moving my feet in this way, in this angle specifically. Mm -hmm. Now, subconsciously, I'm able to move my feet in, the, in that way. I used to forcibly do in this angle, but now I feel I could moreover do it without knowing myself. So it's more of angle being. Previously, my walking was not proper. When I walk, most I take support of my heel, not the front part of the foot. Mm -hmm. I subconsciously I always need to say to my body while walking, I need to fold this way, I need to fold this way. But now I could see I'm able to move it without giving my signal to it to walk it in a specific angles. So to answer your question is this, would you rather do ice or heat on that foot? Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Either way, right now, okay. I'd rather not do anything to it. Okay. The reason why? Because each one of them have a different response to the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. Okay. It will stimulate either one or the other. Oh. I don't want to overstimulate either one of them. God. Let it calm down. Okay. So that's why I recommend mm -hmm. when you go back to Massachusetts, mm -hmm. we'll refer you to a nearby gunsack chiropractor okay. to ensure that structure there is in proper alignment Got and it. also calm down that nerve system. Got it. All right, we're all set. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, you're very welcome.